Good morning. Hello and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Um, if you're joining me for the first time, hello, hello. My name is Denise Cox and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. And today I am here for Halloween week day two. So if you're just joining today, then you need to check out yesterday's videos and I'll explain to you what Halloween week is all about. So uh, my friend Michelle and I have teamed up and we're doing a Halloween week for you guys from October 2nd through to the 5th. And each day we're both going to go live on our own channels to share a Halloween project with you. So that's a total of eight projects in one week. Like that is so much fun oh my goodness so i want to know from everybody watching or catching the replay leave me a comment and let me know do you like this is this super exciting for you uh, because maybe it's something that michelle and i can do again in the future for christmas or for other occasions that are coming up good morning tina nice to see you um so please leave me a comment let me know what you think um so what we're doing all week is sharing halloween projects and not a specific stamp set or anything like that just all halloween so if you missed yesterday let me share with you what we made we did a scrapbook layout yesterday right here guys this is what i made on my channel hi deborah welcome um so this is the project i shared yesterday and michelle did a very cute tic tac holder today she did oh my goodness you guys the most amazing luminaire um card i think that's what you call it it was stunning it like glowed it was oh my goodness it was so cute so be sure to check out michelle at l star stampers if you haven't already um so today you're gonna sh i'm gonna share with you another project this one is going to be a treat holder it's going to be quick and simple so uh, a short video today which um yeah so that's gonna be fun now before we get to the stamping you guys i need to share something with you so stamping up started today um a brand new offer and they are celebrating their 35th anniversary 35 years they've been in business and they're celebrating with the best deal ever ever like this opportunity is just waiting for us all to say yes please well if i could do it again i absolutely would but i can't <laughs> so um if you want to join stamping up family and join my birds nest stampers team now is the perfect time to do it so the starter kit let me just give you a little bit of a um, so normally the starter kit is $135 in Canada and you get to choose $165 of product and there's no shipping and there's no GST on that. So you get like $30 of free product plus you save the shipping and things. Okay. Now in there, you also get a paper pumpkin kit for free. You get all the business supplies for free. It's the best deal ever always, but now it's even better because you can choose to get 35% off your starter kit or 35% more product. Both are awesome. Um, so let me just, I'm just reading the numbers so I don't mess them up. <laughs> um, so if you choose to get 35% off, you only pay $87.75. So less than $100, $87.75. And you still get to pick the $165 in shipping or in product, <laughs> $165 in product and no shipping no gst so you will pay your um provincial tax but you won't pay any gst um so that is a huge savings you're almost getting like half off it's crazy so that deal is there um and the other one is to get 35 percent more product which means you're gonna still pay the 135 but you're gonna pick 222 dollars and 75 cents so see what I mean? It's like a no brainer. So go through that mini catalog, go through the annual catalog, make your wish list. And if you're here in Canada, I would love to welcome you to my new, to my Birds Nest Stampers team. We have a ton of fun. We are, we do a lot of things and you can do all the things or none of the things. There's no pressure. Um, you can sell and build a business, um, make some extra income, or you can just purchase your own supplies and enjoy the 20% discount. So it's really for everyone. And, um, I am open to chat with you, answer any questions. So please reach out. Um, if you're watching here on YouTube, the link is in the comments. On Facebook, I will add it, or sorry, the link is in the description on YouTube, and I will add it into the comments after today's video on Facebook, okay? All right. Hello, Alexina, welcome. Um, if you're watching me today live, 
say hello, show me those thumbs up and those hearts. Um, and I just want to give you guys all a huge shout out to all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I set myself a goal in January of this year to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of December. I just checked and I'm only 76 away. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so if you haven't already subscribed, please head on over to YouTube, Bird's Nest Designs, subscribe to my channel. I would love, 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 it would mean so much to me to meet that goal I placed for myself. Okay, now the other thing, Tina just made a comment. Tina is on my team. Tina's been with me for quite a while. And she just mentioned that she pre placed her pre-order for online exclusives. So that's just one more perk of being a Stamping Up demonstrator is we get to order product early. And there are some beautiful new releases coming for online exclusives available to customers in November, but we get to pre-order starting today, demonstrators. So that's just one more reason that you may want to um, click that starter kit. So say yes to the kit. That's what I say, say yes, because it's the best decision I ever made. And I would love to welcome you. <clears throat> okay, that's what I want to share today. Let's get back to um, our Halloween project. And I'm going to tell you a little bit as we go about the ordering special I have going on this week too. Okay. Oh, Bev is here too. Hello, Bev. Bev is also one of my Bird's Nest Stampers team members. Um, and she also is excited for the online exclusives. Okay. I'm telling you guys right now, if you're a demonstrator and you're watching, I am in love with the fluffiest friends bundle. That's gonna be top of my list. So, <laughs> and if you're not a demonstrator, I'm gonna share that with you real soon. Okay, so today we are going to make, why does that screen, does it seem dark to you guys? I don't know what's going on here. My screen seems dark, but I'm not gonna fiddle with it. At least we have sound today. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna create, let me share with you. This super fun gift box, treat box. Now, it is quite big, right? So this is what I have stored inside of it. These are these like two cookie packs. Dad's cookies love these cookies, but look how perfectly they fit in there. You could fit meant multiple little Halloween chocolate bars or candies in here. Um, just if you don't already have this bundle, you haven't made one of these, just check this out. It's like an inch wide by three like there is so much room you could put a little gift in there even you could put a gift card like there's so many options and so i'm going to share with you how quick and easy it is to make this now i have already of course got some things prepared ahead of time we are going to use um well let me first say did you guys read the description of the video i asked what is your favorite halloween color combination and i told you i would share mine with you today so my favorite is um gorgeous grape with a little pumpkin pie and lemon lime twist that is my favorite combination for halloween isn't that fun so in the comments let me know what is yours what is your favorite combination for halloween okay so I'm going to pop up here on this screen while we're stamping, if my mouse will work, I'm going to pop up the host code for this week. So that is the code that you will enter when you order online with me. And if your order is $45 or more um, before shipping and tax, I'm going to send you all four make and takes that I'm sharing with you this week for Halloween. Now, of course, the scrapbook layout I shared yesterday, I won't include the background 12 by 12 paper, but I'll send you all the other pieces. And the reason for that is just the cost of shipping that size of a piece of paper. It's really crazy here in Canada. <laughs> all right, um, now, if you do that, you're also gonna get the PDF instructions for both my project and Michelle. So all eight projects you're gonna get in a PDF tutorial. All right. So what I wanted to share with you today, we are using tricks and treats. How adorable, you guys. How adorable is this? Um, now, if you are not into Halloween, that's totally cool. You can take this treat box and make it into anything. You can make it into a birthday box, a Christmas box. Um, it's so fun. So this is the bundle here. This is in our September to December 2023 mini catalog. It's on page 50. Um, and it is $69.25 here in Canada to buy the bundle. 
And if you just want the stamp, it's $28. And of course the dies are 49. So lots of options, but you do save 10% if you order it as a bundle. All right, and look at these cute ones um, here too, that they've done up different samples. So lots of fun things that we can do. All right, so I have gone ahead just to save some time and I've pre-cut the box, which is this large die you get in with the dies. I've pre-cut two of these out of gorgeous grape, okay? Now you do not wanna cut more than one at a time because you do need these to score so we know where to fold, okay? Um, so we, that's important, only cut one at a time. Now, I did was going to do all of the cutting, but I realized I wanted to share something with you while I did this. So we're gonna bring in my big cutting machine because we can't fit this in the small one. I don't really like having it right. Look how filthy this is. Oh my goodness. Let's move that off. Okay, so I think it's almost time for me to change my mats. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is for this, we can stack them both together. So I have both layers here. I'm gonna lay, hmm, I thought that was the flatter side, but I think this is. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? Is it time to change those mats? <laughs> They're pretty mucky. All right, then we're gonna take this die right here. This is like gonna give us that nice topper. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna lay it across the top of these already cut dies. Now it's gonna go through my machine better if I can fit it this way, actually. Jennifer says, no, not until they stop cutting. That's sort of my mentality too, Jennifer. I just, I keep using them. And then the funny story is, unless they break, I have a hard time throwing them away too. You just, just in case. It's crazy. I don't know. But anyway, okay. So I've got that laid across there and I really don't want it to slip. So I'm going to take some post-it tape. If you don't have post-it tape, that's okay. You can use just a regular post-it note will work too. But I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to just stick it on here and hold that in place because I don't want that to move and become crooked okay and then we'll put this other mat over top and switch this around and I'm going to wheel this through I'm not going to bother having it in the camera Woo. you might hear a few little cracks as it comes oh no it didn't okay so we roll that through and then when we pull this tape off now we have that fun edge on our pieces isn't that adorable just add such a nice piece now one thing we're not going to do today but i do want to point out to you is that there are other dies in here that you can also use so see this one here if you were to cut that out it creates holes evenly spaced on your dies or on, yeah, on your die cut. And you can then add handles or ribbon like they have here in the catalog, right? Isn't that cute? Yes, Carol says she'd rather spend her money on other things than new mat or new uh, plates. I agree, I agree 100%. Um, <clears throat> okay, so as long as they're working, that's how I do it. I have customers all the time say to me, oh, these are so warped or, oh, they're so cut up. And I'm like, they're just well-loved. They're just well-loved. <laughs> they still work. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. But isn't that fun? Okay, now one of these is the front, one is the back. So on the front one, oh, I better make that go away or it's going to get lost. Okay, so for the front one, um, gorgeous grape, we're going to use that. I love doing tone-on-tone -tone stamping. So we're going to stamp the bats. So these bats are from Tricks and Treats. This Today we're only using this bundle. If you joined me yesterday, we used all the bundles. <laughs> we used all the things on our um, layout. But today we're just going to stick with Tricks and Treats and we're just going to give a few little stamps of these bats. We don't need a whole bunch of them. Just a few to add some interest. So I think that looks good. But you never know, I may add, come back in and add some. All right, so that is that. Now it's easier to decorate your front of your box before you assemble it because then it becomes um, not quite so, like you don't have the, the hard surface behind to like press it all together. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even think about the words there. 
Okay, so I've got this cute them bones paper cut out with the bone pattern. Now, if you guys have been waiting for this, it is back in stock. I did a little happy dance because I need it for my scrapbook club. So um, them bones is back in stock as of this morning. So we're gonna go ahead and just attach this. Oh my gosh, it happened, you guys. My tape ran out. I've been watching this little red line for a while now thinking it's gonna run out and it hasn't until just now. So let me just change that out real quick. I had one here ready. That's how, how much I knew it was gonna run out really soon. Okay, so let's pop that in there, good. Now, okay, so we're gonna stick this and there's score lines in here. You guys probably can't see them in the camera, but let me just, just trust me, they're there. So we're gonna lay that down on the score lines, okay? And then the rest we can do, because the rest of what we're gonna do is gonna go on with dimensionals and those can be applied without having to put any pressure. So I'm gonna flip this over and on the score lines that the die made for us, I'm gonna fold. Okay, so there's one on each side. And then there's one here on the bottom as well. Okay, so we're gonna do that on both pieces of Gorgeous Grape. Oh, hello, Beverly. Welcome to today's video. Um, okay, so there we have. So there is this cute treat box we're going to put together. So we've got both of them folded. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this. Now you can use tear tape. You can use liquid glue. Um, I'm actually going to use liquid glue. I was going to use tear tape, but I'm going to use liquid glue because it gives me wiggle room. And wiggle room is going to help me when I want to line these all up. So first thing I'm gonna do is on the smaller flap here on the side. Now, see how that paper isn't quite um, the right size? I'm just gonna quickly trim that off now. It'll be a little easier than trying to do it later. It's because it was like, when I measured, it was like a 16th and I don't cut 16th. I'd rather just cut it to an eighth and then trim it off like that. <laughs> so that's what I did. Okay, so now we're gonna come in here. We're gonna put a little bit of glue here on the side. And then that piece is going to line up. Oh yeah, I had to think about that for a second. You're gonna line that piece up with the edge here. Okay, so this is on the inside of the larger flap of the other piece. So you need to cut two and then you're gonna line it up. Now, because I've got that wiggle room, I'm gonna then make sure from the front, I'll see, doing this with a camera over your head is not so easy. <laughs> or not over your head, over your, um, hands. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is lined up now nice and straight on the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold, open it all up. And on this one, we're going to put a little bit more glue. Okay, and then we can just fold this in half. And that one should, oh, it's not working for me. Did I do wrong? Well, yeah, when I did this earlier, it just worked. It just like folded and everything lined up. Anyway, maybe that was a fluke. <laughs> okay, so we've got that glued. So now we can see the box taking form. Isn't it sweet? And then we take the bottom here and we're going to tuck the two side ones in. We're gonna tuck the back one. So this is the back of the box. We're gonna put that down. And then we're going to add glue here. And just stick that down. And the reason I stuck the front one down is because it gives us a nicer seam on the front. We don't see that um, like this one, you can kind of see. Not that anyone's really gonna look at the bottom of the box, but you know, it's okay. It's all the little details. Okay, so now there's our box. We'll just set that aside so that the glue can completely dry. All right, so I have gone ahead and cut out a circle of pumpkin pie, and this is from the Stylish Shapes dies. I've got that pre-cut for us. I've also cut out this sweet little boo, and that is also part of the tricks and treats, okay? So that's one more reason why you need to have these dies. That is such a cute one. Um, okay, so 
We've got that. We've got that. Hello, Paula. Nice to see you. Um, now we're going to take our silicone mat. And I've already gone ahead and die cut two of these haunted houses. Now I only need one, but I cut out two just in case my stamping doesn't go as planned. <laughs> so this is the stamp here we're gonna use. And of course it has a coordinating die right there. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and cut those out with white, out of basic white. So we're gonna take tuxedo black and my stamp here already mounted on the block. And let me just get that all nice and inked up. Now this is a really like solid image. So it's really important that you get lots and lots of ink coverage on it. And sometimes when you're used to using like our, our awesome classic stamping ink pads, sometimes when you switch to using the Memento, it's a little tricky because you got to press like, I don't know, I feel like you got to press so hard to get all that ink on there in comparison. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp this on and hope that it's gonna turn out nicely. But that's okay, we always have a second one, right? <laughs> okay, so let's pop that off and see how we did. No, oh, it's not too bad, it's a little off to the side. Let me just try one more. I'm being just picky now, it really doesn't matter. That doesn't look bad. <laughs> okay, so let's just move it over a little bit and see what we can do. Now I'm probably gonna have it to the other side. <laughs> Oh, that one's better. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna set that one aside. I will use that for something. What I'll do is I'll just go in with my paper snips and trim off some of that white edging. But for now, we're gonna use that guy. And we're going to then, all we're gonna do is take some black. Did you guys know Stamping Up made black dimensionals? They're perfect when you're creating a darker um, project. So. I'm gonna stick two of these dimensionals on the back of our haunted house. And we're gonna stick that sort of like centered on our orange moon here. And then we're gonna take some more dimensionals cause you know, I love dimensionals and we're gonna stick four of them on the back of our circle. Okay, there we go. And then we'll stick this on the front of the box, centering that circle if we can. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna add this pop of color. Remember when I shared my favorite color combination? When you add this lemon lime twist in, oh my goodness, it's just like a game changer. It brightens everything up. So happy that Stamping Up brought this color back. Okay, so we're gonna just stick the boo down here. And it's okay, this one's just sort of floating here, that's okay. All right, and then all that's left to do is fill it with some candy, maybe add some bling. Now, sadly, I would had to use the glow in the dark little elements on here, because I thought that would be super cute and they're just sort of go with the, the theme of it, of course. But sadly, they have been, um, they're sold out and they are not coming back. And so I didn't want to put them on here, but you could just add any kind of sparkles to this fun little treat box. So what do you guys think? Do you like that? Isn't it adorable? And like I mentioned earlier, these fit perfectly. A little pack of cookies, they'll just sit nicely in there. You can decorate it like I did for Halloween. You could do it for fall, Christmas, birthdays, like the possibilities for this sweet little box are endless. And so this is one die set that I know I will not be parting with because, oh my goodness, how cute is this? All right. Well, let me pop back here into the screen if I can get this mouse to work. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, it was so fun to stamp with you. As I mentioned before, if you're watching over on YouTube and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I am so close to my goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of December. Um, I'm only 76 away, which is so exciting for me. Um, 
so please do that share the love send me those hearts and those thumbs up from facebook or youtube leave me comments i so enjoy reading all of your comments i got so many comments on my scrapbook layout yesterday on that video that it just warms my heart so thank you so much again if you are enjoying these live videos every day that michelle and i are doing for you guys please let me know let us know because we would are would love to do it again for you if it's something you enjoy so leave me a comment let me know um, don't forget if you order from can in canada using this host code i'm going to send you make and take projects to make all four of my projects plus the pdf to make mine and michelle's so don't miss out join us tomorrow 9 a.m pacific time over on michelle's alistar stampers facebook page or youtube and then back here at 10 a.m on bird's nest designs for my tutorial as well. Okay, you guys, thank you so very much for being here. Um, don't forget about that amazing join offer with the starter kit. We'd love to welcome you into our Bird's Nest Stampers team. Um, and so, yeah, so that's what I have to share today. Have a wonderful Tuesday, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you all tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific time with another fun Halloween project for you. Until then, have a wonderful day.